Hey guys, welcome to Home Studying Through Our Eyes. Today we are installing our insulation, which is part of our floor. So we're here today and we are placing down all of our insulation boards. Ideally we would like to install them and leave them, but we're running into some rain soon. So our flooring here, which goes on the top of the insulation, we don't want to get it wet at all. And also would rather not get any of this wet because we'd already been dealing with rain issues and water issues getting underneath the deck and stuck in the tie back. So what we did was just used as much as the middle space as possible, the same way we arranged our plywood really, and used the biggest pieces in the middle, made straight lines, made sure to square them off and snug them all tightly. And the next step is to go around and place the outside edges, and we're going to mark them with a marker and cut them with a hot knife, hopefully. So uh, stay tuned and uh, check out how we do that. So in order to cut the insulation, there are multiple, multiple ways to do it. Uh, jigsaw being one, but we didn't want to deal with the fiberglass dust and didn't want to deal with changing the batteries all around. So we saw a little clip on YouTube one time of people heating up knives and using it to slice through the insulation. So we built a little fire, let it burn down to mostly coals, and now we're heating up the knives and getting ready to cut our first piece of insulation. So stay tuned and check out how that goes. So we have all the insulation cut to the exact circle, all the way around. What we have done again is just laid the biggest pieces in the middle, as many as we could, and then fit the outside pieces and cut them to length. Um, we went ahead and tried the hot knife. It was slow and steady and would have worked in the end, but uh, we want to just do it a little bit quicker. So I went with the jigsaw and a metal blade, which has smaller teeth. So uh, it still made some uh, a, a lot of mess and got in our faces and wasn't cool to work with. But uh, we got it done and that's how we did it. So it went pretty smoothly, pretty quickly. It wasn't too bad. Uh, one thing that we did do is label each of our pieces that we cut and we corresponded them with this graph to make sure we knew, you know, just in case they got mixed up and it was easy to lay it back together. So our next step is to match the pieces all the way around the outside to our plywood floor pieces and make the same exact cuts. And then we'll piece them together and move on from there. So what we did, like I said, is laid out all of our biggest pieces in the middle and then we came and laid another piece next to the one that was already set in the middle and anything that overhang or overhung 
we should we took a marker and went on the bottom of the piece and made it even in line with the edge of the OSB subfloor and we simply turned it upside down and used the jigsaw and just followed the line cut off flipped it back over set it in place and this is the result